to Creepy Crafts and Coco. I'm Miss Blair. I'm I'm like Coco. I'm, I'm, Coco. <laughs> I'm Miss Josie, and here is my Coco. And cheers. cheers, 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 you guys. Oh. Let's drink first. Okay, that's delightful. All right, guys, we're here with Grand Prairie Public Library, and we're trying really hard not to laugh because. When I How purchased this, this is a friend of your mother that you must wear your mask. This is awesome. Yeah. At all times. <laughs> <laughs> if you do not wear a mask, you can use one of our no contact services by calling 972 237 5700. Or by calling 
Try to hold it. You broke it. I can't put my whole hair anymore. And then you put some pressure and it doesn't stay. <laughs> so you try it again. I could have pressed you back, Annie. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, so mine's standing up.
appreciate seeing that and you sharing that with us. That meant a lot. For sure. Um, so if, like we said, if you don't want to post in the comments and you want to keep it private, feel free to email us and we'll put our email in the comments after um, this show or the show. It's like we're on the Food Network. Yeah. We are in a way. <laughs> but you know what, guys? Oh. Unlike a lot of shows, we also showed you guys our nail it and fail it. So this morning, I did find out this is going to be very difficult. But me and Blair, we chose to just go with it anyways because yes. we wanted to show like sometimes projects doesn't really work out the way we planned. So we have to be creative and come up with something new. That's that's part of creative life. Creativity, like it's not always going to be uh, like you know. While I was putting the string, one of the nails came off. So. <laughs> Somebody, um, Miss Murray actually called it Friday Junior. Oh, like Friday Junior, yes. So it's a great day. Tomorrow's Friday. Friday Junior is great. Oh my god. <laughs> no, ah, it stuck to my thumb. Your fish is cute. That was a cute idea. Thank you. You know. That looks great. Yes, thank you. So, how are you doing your stringing? I, I was doing it and then the nail came off, so I, start, I stopped. Can I borrow your hammer for a second, please? <coughs> yeah, that's fine. So, I was thinking, what if we only did one of the strings or two of the strings? I think so. I think I want to do two color if I actually. Because I think the whole, because there's six strands when you get embroidery thread. And I think doing the whole six strands would be too much. So I'm going to just try one. And I'm going to wrap it around, hopefully, something that's sturdy. Sorry, I was like hammering. Miss <laughs> Bear was trying to talk. I'm like taking my stress out over here. How did you start yours, question mark? I started from the eyes of my fish. like this. I want to do the outline first. So here's my second nail and the nails are a little bit smaller so it will be a little bit hard to but this is how you will start. So I don't have as much nail down I have but I have. Oh that looks great. Yeah. You want to show the other one? On camera. Oh, like how I started it? Yeah. Sure. So I'm gonna I'm grabbing just one of the threads. And I think that that's a cool idea, Miss Joti, of doing multiple colors. Okay, so I'm pulling on one thread. Maybe two feet long. And I was trying to just wrap it around one thing and then I realized it's not doing that, so I'm just going to fold it. And then since I'm just doing the outline triangle, that guy might be a little bit of a problem. I'm just, I just took mine around the three. And then just kept going until all two feet, or however long I made it, were done. Of course, when I was doing it by myself, I but now that everyone's watching, There we go. Easier to turn my board. There. That's very good. Thank you. So I want to know, has anyone done their jack-o-lantern yet this year? Ooh. Do you paint your jack-o-lanterns? See, like, I've done where you paint your jack-o-lanterns and you hot glue and you add the fun stuff on, but as a kid, I always carved a pumpkin. Yeah. 
you ever carved or decorated pumpkins, Miss Jyoti? I did apple. I, I carved apple. I never really done cool. pumpkin before. So, do you carve the apple? Um, I think, so like um, I did. So the red and the inside flesh. Like I did cut it in a way that the red and the white would make a contrast, and then you would make a design. You know what I mean? That's cool. Yeah. I, I buy the things from Walmart. <laughs>
watching us over here with this madness, please let us know. Share and comment how you guys are doing it. Um, did you guys finish the project you guys started last time? If you did, share some photos with us. Thank you so much for the people who did share their photos. Um, I'm almost done. <laughs> we have a Halloween makeup video also. Yes. That's, that's with going up today at four. Actually, that just went up today at four thirty. Perfect. So. Well, this is Miss Blair's attempt. Blair, that looks good. That looks very good. So, Miss Jyoti has shown that you can draw. I mean, we've, we've given y'all paint, paint brushes. Yeah. You could have just painted your pumpkin. You can try to hammer it in. Um, <laughs> maybe you have larger nails at your house. I just didn't want them sticking out. Yeah. I thought no, that, that, might, that might be a little difficult. If this was a tad bit bigger, then it would be just so perfect. But I think the quality of the nails is very good. It just like kind of tiny, like spark us can hold it. But I just, I mean, obviously these exist in the world. Does anybody know what they're used for? It's not like they made them special for me because I was like, oh, I want the world's smallest nails. Like, they exist. Yeah. And I don't know what they exist for. To, uh, to like, learn some virtue, like patience. No. <laughs> no? <Not> no. <laughs> okay. Well, I hope you guys have fun today. Because I surely did have fun. <laughs>